last night was tough. Nearly getting ice always leaves me drained and jumping. It's private investigator. I've been in tough spots, but that was nearly the end of the line. I ended up sleeping in my car all day. Now the sun is setting and I groggily stumble around the room trying to regain my bearings. As I look out the window, I can see the San Francisco skyline, what's left of the atmosphere. Not so long ago, a gigawatt of nuclear missiles were launched by... Some frantic third world country. Luckily, uh, the l luckily lucky for the shelters, most people survive. The e ecosystem may not. Tonight it seems the sky is extraordinarily red, not the normal washed ruddy hue, but a thick, malicious deep red. Some something about the color leaves me edgy and tense. It's as if someone is someone or something is targeting me but then maybe i'm superstitious i've never cared much for the color of blood oh is this the game oh man oh man oh man Oh, man. We got look, open, move, get, use, go to, talk, travel, help, and disc. This looks eerily familiar. This looks eerily familiar. Why does this look so familiar to me? I say O one start. Yeah, I can. Save. Did it save? Okay, it did. Let's load it. Make sure all this works first. Okay, it looks like it. It looks like it's working. This is this this a very similar interface to like um, that one game that Stephen King, the Stephen King inspired game go to how do we look at our inventory that's one thing that i'd like to know lockpick kit does this like have a list of everything in the room okay well that's useful That moves us. Well, that's very, that's a very annoying clackety clack sound. Let's turn, let's. What? what are, are there like options? There's like no options for anything in here. I can't like change the volume or whatnot. All right, well. I don't know what this is, but let's let's get it. It's a camera. Okay, I got it. A gun. Here's a gun. Let's get that. Let's get our mail. Oh, start the timer. You pick up the mail, take the cash, and close one of the envelopes and decide to file the letters. Okay. What's this? Whatever it is, I can't get it. It's a switch. Oh, no, that's not a switch. That's not a switch. What's this? Comlink. Hey, Tex. Hey, Tex. Whoa, it's sound. We've got a new case and you won't believe who it involved. I'll transmit the information. Marshall Alexander Terraform Corp. 583 Market Street. Mr. Alexander wants you to come by to discuss the case. See his secretary to let you in. He'll be there all day. Okay. Cool. All right. What's this? A box? Inside the box, you see a souvenir, which is a tangled piece of metal that glows red in the dark. Okay. Ammo. Can we get the ammo? 
get ammo. You pick up the ammo. You pick up the lockpick kit. Okay. Can't get the fedora. Can't get the books. You can't take the box. Can't take the chair. Can't take the calendar. Can't take the ashtray. You can't take the lens. Lens. Can't take the phone. Can't take the letterhead. Where's the what? Lens. What the heck are you talking about? I don't see. I don't see no freaking lens. That was that. I misread that. I like pick on click on one pixel. Did it say lamp, not lens? What about this? A fax page. Why bother? It'll just show up again tomorrow. Can't take the fax machine. Can I open the file cabinet? Wait, what did that say? Oh, this this is this is literally help. Oh look, great government issued filing cabinet. Didn't I, I want to look in the drawer? We haven't had anything really interesting since Mean Streets. Okay. I guess I can't really... I can't close things. Can I use the camera on the tripod then? Okay. Can I move the switch? Oh, nice. What's this one do? Turns the fan off and on. I can go here now. Let's go here. You don't have to be a private eye nor have a PhD to find Terraform Corporation in San Francisco. You don't even need to see too well. Just look up. Terraform is overwhelming. It's the biggest building in the entire city by the bay or anywhere else. One step inside, you're instantly dwarfed by the 30 foot ceiling that arches overhead. The microwave motion detectors, pressure-sensitive pads, and robotic surveillance would make a Nazi nervous. All of these security, all of the security, must have emerged from the development of Terraform Corp. Terraforming is a 50-year plan to make Mars habitable. <clears throat> it must have been very dangerous work at the onset, raising a planet's temperature 100 degrees, designing and erecting an efficient solar shield, transmuting the lethal gases of the red planet must have warranted risk. Silence and heavy security. Security, yes, but this place makes you feel like seventh grade gym class on the first day. The showers going in naked and all ill-equipped. I guess I passed their check. I think a thick-necked guard takes me over to a turbo elevator and I head for Alexander's office. <clears throat> Oh, I'm right. Jeez, I could. I didn't even notice myself. Like that's me. I blend in with the elevator. I, I got like I got camouflage <clears throat> coat or something. 
<clears throat> I was looking at my boots like <clears throat> managed to pick that up. Let's look at this, whatever it is. Model of Black Reed Terraform Corporation facilities located on Mars near the Thar C Thar Thar Star as Bold's phase three is now complete in meeting the goal of providing a breathable atmosphere. May I help you? I'm just too busy right now. Okay, you, you can't answer questions, all right. Whatever. May I help you? Just a moment. We can see you now. Didn't the original one use this technology that used the PC speaker to actually like have voices and stuff? Isn't isn't that true? What's this? Oh, it's the washroom. Piece of art. There's it's a couch. Okay, move over here. No, I. How do I go in the door? Oh, click the button. Okay. Okay, I'm 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 very confused. How do I how do I actually walk? How do I how do I walk in? This seems like a very basic thing to do. What the heck? No, oh, go to. Go to. It's go to. Oh man. Um, um what what is this? An original Renoir oil entitled Nice Flowers, part one. Part two of the original Renoir oil, Nice Flowers. Okay. I love how it's like dark here. Good evening, Mr. Murphy. Creepy. My daughter is missing. She may have been abducted. Yeah, move is like push. Push or pull or... Like, it's how you flip switches and open... Well, maybe not open doors. That would be open. What's happening? Oh. was stolen from me, but no one must know that it's gone. I'll transmit some leads for you to begin your search. Okay. Okay. I can't, I can't ask follow-up questions. I have follow-up questions. What's on his, is there something on his desk? No. Safe? There's a safe?
I don't I don't see a safe. Oh move. There's a safe behind one of these paintings. Okay, well. May I help you? Oh, I click here. I'm just too busy right now. All right, whatever. The trip out of Terraform is a lot more pleasant than coming in. It's nice to have a client that looks like he can pay. So Alexis Alexander, AKA Alex Alex, the daughter of the wealthiest man in the universe is missing. What a ransom this dish can garner. But in the information he transmitted to me, there was nothing to prove this was a kidnapping. Then he says something else was stolen from me and acts as if this was more important than his daughter. I try to get more information on what it was and he clams up on the subject. I don't think he's giving me the whole story and one thing's for sure, he's desperate. At least he gave me a few places to start. All right, I think the home is the best place to start where the where the where the kidnapping happened. Hey, Lars. They say money can't buy you happiness, but it sure can scoop up on everything. It sure can scoop up on everything else. I drop into one of Alexander's residences, the one Lexus was staying at before she disappeared. Place makes the Taj Mahal look like the projects. I enter the 10 foot inspired iron gate with gilded points. The house isn't even a isn't even in sight yet as i roll past the forest the flowering shrubs and short trees security cameras are everywhere if alexis was kidnapped somebody was definitely asleep at the wheel the maid at the door has been told i would be coming and she lets me in i'm led through a hallway to a chamber of marble and glass to alexis room it all resembles a mausoleum i feel myself whispering so as not to wake the dead I don't think we do have the creepy sound, Finkelroy. Hey, there's something on the floor here. What is it? It's a paper. Can we look at the paper? I don't wanna... How do I look at it? it? Doesn't say I can even look at my inventory. Okay, if we use our com link. What's up? I'll transmit the information. Okay. I'll transmit the address. I'll transmit the information. Trans Martian shuttle. Okay. I'll transmit the address. Okay. I'll transmit the address. I'll transmit the information. He was the richest man in the world. He founded it in 2019. The company has had many successful diversified companies side to Martian development. Keeps his corporation veiled in secrecy. Background information prior to 19 or 2009 was lost in a D-Day attack. Well, geez, that's not that surprising. See you later. How do I look at my inventory? Like, I want to look at it. Am, am 
am I doing something wrong here? Should I have looked at it first? Size bed, Martian crystal hairboard, headboard. Oh, what's this? notation is made on a napkin from Wiener World. It shows Chantel Vargas, apartment 970. Is this a hint or could it be a miscellaneous scrawling made in the restaurant that serves the biggest weenies in San Francisco? There's no information on that subject. Okay. See you later. Should we, fo should we follow that yeah. lead then? So it's so like. Chantel Vargas. Address is a Hitchcock is the Hitchcock building a huge urban tower near my office downtown These towers are self-sufficient living spaces that allow the residents of the building to avoid the decay and violence of the inner cities I ring the bell and a tired but striking woman is with deep hungry eyes and long unbrushed brunette hair Answer the door she's young, but there are signs of heart and fast living something rings familiar in those features then it smacks me she's the mysterious woman i've been dancing seeing dancing through the camera lens from my office window i feel the blood rush to my face jeez i hope she doesn't recognize me yeah uh my name is murphy i'm a private investigator and i was wondering if i could ask you a few questions Hex murphy don't you have an office across from my apartment window Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Well, what do you think of the view? Some days is better than others. How big a fool do you think I am? <laughs> I guess not as big as I'd hoped. So, a little nervous? Get out or I'll let everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. 
Okay. Let's go back. Yeah. Tex Murphy, don't you have an office across from my apartment window? So we can retry these dialogues. What do you think of the view? Is window peeping part of your job? Drop dead, peeping Tom. All right. Let's, yeah. let's, let's just keep trying this, I guess, until we get the right response. Tex Murphy, don't you have an office across from my apartment window? You're the pervert with that telescope. How big a fool do you think I am? So, a little nervous? Get out or I'll let everybody know. <laughs> Alright, maybe, 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 yeah. maybe, maybe we're, maybe, maybe we just can't do this. Tex Murphy, don't you have an office across from my apartment window? You're the pervert with that telescope. As a matter of fact, you do. Drop dead, peeping Tom. I don't know if it's a dialogue puzzle or, or if I'm gonna get something later on that'll help me. Like, I have no idea. We'll go, we'll go somewhere else, I guess. We've already been to the home. I don't know why we have all these places, but let's, let's go here, I guess. The address of Jacques Sparrow is the is a three-story white stucco and glass building designed after the war to be a, an avant-garde of modern architecture. They failed. It looks too square and the windows need washing. Uh, inside, it's just as dank and sticky as outside. I find a directory on the wall. Jacques Sparrow's office is on the third floor. I ride up the elevator, which smells similar to a to a cat marking its territory. At the end of the hallway, I see lettering. Jacques Sparrow on pebbled glass. I knock. No answer. I try the knob, but it's locked. I reach inside my pocket. I pop out a tool that makes opening doors a snap. I close the door behind me and look around. The place looks very familiar. An old roll-top desk, swivel chair with a frayed pillow, a couple of file cabinets. The door might as well have been the door might as well have my name on it. The file cabinet was locked, but it was easy to pop open. Inside some cheap rye phone directory in a middle envelope. There are a number of eight by ten glossies of very young looking girls in leather. I'm lost in thought when I hear the door knob begin to turn. I toss the folder back in the file and spin around. The door opens and in walks a guy who looks like Errol Flynn in the in the gay adventures of Captain Blood. His face is tan and he's slim. When he sees me, his mouth opens and out drops the worst French accent I've ever heard. Mon Dieu, what the hell are you doing here? It looks pretty quiet here today. Perhaps you could answer some questions. I cater to an exclusive crowd. I've got no time to waste with you. Okay, he's not going to talk to me either. Ah. Uh, this is so similar to the previous game, and the previous game I did, I did not enjoy, and I am not and, 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 and I am not enjoying this either. But we'll just keep going to place. Wait, 
It's the same place I was before. Walk in the old dilapidated police station, cross the reception room to a dually lighted inner chamber, co inner corridor, and pass down the corridor to a frosted glass door. At its far end, I open the frosted glass door and walk into the office where a big olive skinned man with a tired oval face under the mat of thin hair dotted with dandruff sits behind an immense desk on which bales of paper are heaped. Max, a true San Francisco flatfoot. His biggest claim to fame is that an old relative of his used to be on a police on a police show about San Francisco. Somebody said Mac looks a lot like him. What brings you down here, Murphy? Looking for a client? Nope, looking for that free lunch you owe me. I'm trying to cut back. That's true. A guy like you doesn't need to buy lunch. You could live a year on that. What you spilled on your tie. Always ready with a gag. Well, I've gagged enough today. <laughs> Why is everybody throwing me out? What the hell? Ah. The work address for Rockwell. This is the same as that. They're using the same pictures. It's a large, solid house with lavender brick walls and white stone trim. I walk in and I'm greeted by a young, pretty face with a nice smile. She asks if I have an appointment. I tell her why I'm here and she leads me into Blanche's office. It's obvious why Marshall Alexander hired this guy to be part of his corporate brain trust. What? What? what does he have a brain coming out of his head? A brilliant man, perhaps with even more brain power than myself. He has built a vast empire in his own with virtually flawless business decision. His health, however, has deteriorated over the last several months. He's become increasingly paranoid and has added even more security people to his staff. The disappearance of his daughter has contributed significantly to his mental and physical degradation. Okay. Alexis has been, was, has always been indifferent toward her father's company in the past. But Marshall has con confided to me that the majority interest of Terraform would go to his daughter when she dies. If anything happened to her, control of the business would go to Marshall's wife, Nora Desmond Alexander. For that reason alone, it's of the utmost importance that Alexis has found. I think with the right con counsel, Terraform would be much better off. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, we got a, we that's a lead right there. That is a lead. As a corporate attorney, I enjoy a special relationship with Mr. Alexander. I consider both Alex, Alexis and Marshall to be good friends. We, we, he rarely makes any business decisions without me. No one ever gets to know Marshall Alexander very well. A man who climbed to the top of the business world makes many enemies. Unfortunately, Marshall Alexander is one of those men. Uh, Jacques Sparrow is a potential professional photographer who used her as a model in recent months. And it may I may say I don't approve of some of his work. Alexis is very beautiful, but she doesn't develop any marketable skills. But if she doesn't develop any marketable skills, she could be the best. She did the best she could with what she had. Okay, Nora. Nora is a successful movie actress. I was a successful movie actress at one time. When she married Marshall 15 years ago, she gave up her career. I've had the feeling she always resented giving up her career. That doesn't know Mac Meldon. Police Lieutenant Mac Meldon was the officer who investigated Alexis' disappearance. He came up with nothing on the kidnapping theory and no leads as to where she is. Alexis mentioned Chantel on occasion. I believe they were friends. Alexis is a headstrong and beautiful girl. Her past hasn't been totally innocent. When she was younger, I spent a lot of time straightening out her life. I'm sure Mr. Alexander told you his daughter was kidnapped. I'm not so sure. Just 
before her disappearance she started to fall back on old habits we became very she became very resentful toward her father and his company if she ran away i don't really know where she would go how about me i hope you're a good pi you'll have to be you'll have to be to solve this case oh wait cancel all right uh well that's it for that okay uh that was useful information uh, i think that i think that was useful we got we got some we got some we got a mo we got motive from his wife and we got a potential where she didn't get kidnapped And also, we went to the house and found the security was extremely tight. So probably whoever did do the kidnapping, if there was indeed a kidnapping, would have had to have some inside, some insight into the security or like something. Okay. Um. Mon Dieu, what the hell are you doing here? You could not afford me. Try the photographer at Kmart. <laughs> Listen, doo doo for Green's property you might not have to get tough. I have friends who are very tough monkeys. <laughs> that didn't work. Is it? Are these just dialogue puzzles? Like, Mon Dieu, what the hell are you doing? Do we here? just have to figure out the right dialogue? I cater to an exclusive crowd. I've got no time to waste with you. And that's a no. I think I need to threaten him. Mon Dieu, what the hell are you doing here? I cater to an exclusive crowd. I've got no time to waste with you. Oh, okay. I guess not. I, I, I don't know how to deal with this dialogue stuff. Let me, is there anything in the manual? I, I feel like this is how it was last time, and I hated it last time. I don't think I have the ask about option, do I? Mon Dieu, what the hell are you doing here? Maybe I do have an ask about. No. And what business are you in? Oh, that's that's useful. Big dog, you dare to insult me? I've got no time to waste with you. God, I hate this. Mon Dieu, what the <laughs> hell are you doing here? And what business are you in? You are nothing but a fake cop. Okay, that's more. I have friends who are very tough monkeys. Take off, Flatwood. That would be a no. Uh, Mon Dieu, what the there, hell there's no here? hints on what I'm supposed to do. Like none. Like there is this is just pick the right dialogue. It feels like just random guessing. 
And what business are you in? You are nothing but a fake cop. If you need help, call the Salvation Army. I mean, I'm gonna keep Monster. trying. What the hell are you doing here? I feel like this is. I've gotten and more leverage here. Are you, in? you are nothing but a fake cop. I do art, you know, classical stuff. Okay, Spunky, get out or I call the cops. Relax, uh, I'll answer questions. Okay, I have to threaten him. <laughs> Alright, it's a dialogue puzzle. I guess I maybe should have figured that one out a little bit more, but... What does anybody know about Alexander? He's the richest man in the world. That's about it. He's not one that anyone gets any information on. I met Alexis when she roomed with Chantel. She's got a pretty face and gorgeous body. If there were a couple of jobs I found that fit her perfectly, there were a couple of jobs. Okay. It's so Marshall Alexander's company, what I would do to own a piece of the action. It's a small businessman trying to make a living. No, oh, I'm asking about him. I find work, hire models, shoot photos, it's no big deal. The only commercial way to get to Mars. Know nothing about him. Chantel used to be one of the top models on the West Coast. Unfortunately, she's become a heavy user of Rush. That drug was really ruined her career. I hardly use her anymore. Okay. Me. I don't care. Okay. Can I offer him something? Okay. Or if I click him again. Mon Dieu, what the hell are you doing here? Okay, I have to go through, I have to go through the same thing okay i didn't get a whole lot but i guess i got something uh let's go let's go to my office i guess and the only reason we're going to my office is to What's on this paper? What was on the paper? Like, I, I don't know. I don't even know what was on this paper. Oh, here we go. Look, I like how my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my 
thing goes it's on the it's in the back the heck what's going on I have no film I don't think there's any film in here. No, there's no film. All right. I, I think we're going to have to, uh, let's try her again. Yeah. Murphy, don't you have an office across from my apartment window? Well, what do you think of the view? Is window peeping part of your job? I don't know those beady eyes anywhere. Get lost or I'll call the cops. Okay, so I think I need evidence against her before I can talk to her. I think that's the, I think that's the trick there. I also don't know what that paper was that I got. Like, I can't look at it anymore, and that kind of sucks. I can't look at it! I took it! Oh, that's so annoying. I don't know what it said. What kind of jank garbage is this? All right, I'm gonna up the jankometer on this on this garbage. I can't I can't look at an inventory item that I have in my inventory. I have to look at it before I actually get it. Also, what's this? Is this just a column? says the paper is on the floor to the left of the bed look at it i can't look at it because i picked it up all right let's see what it said let's save as uh, i don't know uh paper And then load crime. Oh, I've already picked it up. I've already picked it up at that point. Oh my god. What do you think it says? We'll load this, get the info, go to her house, read the paper. Good evening, Mr. And see what it said, because I want to know what it said. Like, this is beyond jank, in my opinion. Something else was stolen from me. 
but no one must know that it's gone. Look at this piece of paper and see what it says. Oh, it just said TMS written on it. That's it. Okay, it just said TMS. That's literally all it said. Okay. That's why we have TMS in our, in our, the stuff we can ask about. Okay. Now I know. Okay. Up there, shit. Mac. What brings you down here, Murphy? Looking for a client? My clients pay me to make your life easier. To get angry at inanimate objects, but you make me mad anyway. You're so lazy, you become a landmark. Let's, let's, let's just... I know I'm going soft in the head from talking to you, Murphy. What do you want? What? Always ready with a gag. Well, I've gagged enough today. Oh, that didn't work. I, I felt it was close. What brings you down here, Murphy? Looking for a client? Up yours, Seamus. I know I'm going soft in the head from talking to you, Murphy. What do you want? What? Jam it. We're too busy. If I don't get evidence on the Andretti case, I'll be out of a job! Sounds like you've got some serious problems. If you want my help, give me something on Andretti. Okay. Something on Andretti. Alright. Maybe he knows something. Angelo Andretti, he was the congressman that was murdered. That's about all I know, I'm afraid. Okay, that's literally it. Mon Dieu, what the hell are you doing here? Okay, I, I can just go back to there. Nothing, okay. All right, cool. Uh, man. Oh wait, I can use my uh, I can use my uh, my my uh, phone at the, my my thing, my com link, my com link. What's up? I'll transmit the information. Summary. Congressman uh, in the. Uh, says, I believe he was killed. There's really underworld crime lords. Okay, cool. I'll transmit the information. That's the acronym for the Transmartian shuttle. Okay. Oh, so she could have like went to Mars. Oh, I see. I see that. See, okay, it's possible. It's certainly possible. I suppose. See you later. Does that give me any new places to go? I don't think it does. Hmm.
May I help you? I'm just too busy right now. Well, can, can I get can I get back in to talk to this guy? May I help you? Just a moment. He's not available. Oh man. Okay, I can go into the bathroom. I didn't expect that to work. No clues in the toilet. No clues in the bidet. In the bidet. Yeah, I know, right? Digitized Axers in 1991. Like, the thing is, this game, while it has a lot of jank, like, they really did try to, to it's got voices too. Like, I think the original game had voices as well and it used PC speaker to get those voices, so, you know. They use some technology. They use tech. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do in here. I can't get this towel. You see a simple-minded, thick-willed, dull-brained uh, creature staring back at you, but you're still more handsome than the average post-nuclear mutant on the street. Mutants. There's an earring. Oh my god. Screen. Wow, I can't believe they have this help thing. Like, this help thing is like a hint. See, I can't look at stuff in my inventory, and I hate it. I hate that I can't. help you? Oh, thanks! I thought it was lost! How about dinner? I'll meet you tonight at Clement's. It's a five-star restaurant at the Plaza Hotel. Okay, it's a date. I got a date with Rhonda. Well, I can type use, so I can type use and see what I have in my inventory, but I can't actually look at the item. Like, I picked up a piece of paper that was on the floor, and I didn't know what was on it. And it won't let me look at it. Well, it's in my inventory. After I put it in my inventory. When it was on the floor, I could look at it. But before that, I couldn't. Which is weird. A plaza. We have a new destination. Level 5 date. Save. Gift shop, go to the gift shop. Obviously.
obviously you go to the gift shop first there's a rose okay let's try and leave oh go to one of the most opulent and expensive restaurants on the west coast Clements is a stunning example of elegance four leaded glass chandeliers Cast a warm light on the Cherrywood Queen Anne style dining tables. The sound of sterling silver tableware tink, tinkle, tink, tinkles from the kitchen original artwork. Uh, lit, lead, leaded crystal and rare imported wines call out to me. I hope they'll take a two party check. I see Rhonda already seated in the corner table. She sits reading the menu in an evening dress cut low enough to make it interesting. Low tech flight my outfit. So tell me about yourself. Well, let's give her the rose first. Thank you, Tex. Thirty years old and spent a few years in college. I worked for the district attorney's office, but he thought I was insubordinate. And I found myself out of a job, and all my all my life may seem like like it would be exciting, but it really is quite lonely. I'm looking for someone to put a spark back into my humdrum existence. I enjoy a life of danger and excitement. Maybe you should change professions. Despite the drawbacks, I enjoy the work. How interesting. What did you say? <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Nice. Wow. I should I should, probably should have saved. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did I, the question is, am I now soft locked? That's that's really a question that I have. Am I soft locked now? I thought I might be able to find out more information, but. What brings you down here, Murphy? Looking for a client? I feel like I may have messed up. Maybe I have to, maybe I have to do it again. I don't know. Let's, let's see if I can, let's see if we can get another date. You? I'm just too busy right now.
No, it looks like we can't. It looks like that was our only chance. So if we had to do something with that, we are screwed. If it was just optional, we're not screwed. I find three pennies and a pretzel. Okay. I need film. That's one thing I do need. Can I go to the Plaza Hotel? Is there, like, maybe there's film in here. Necklace. Skincare products, lipstick, cosmetics. This doesn't seem like a gift shop that would have film. screwed I'm gonna I, I think I I think I need to figure out if I'm screwed or not 